Hello everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium here at Brockton High School in Victor M. Ortiz Court. We are here for today's matchup between the Brookline Warriors in blue and the Brockton High Boxers in white. This matchup should be a great matchup. The Brookline Warriors, they enter this matchup at 6 and 0. Oh. A well esteemed record here, representing the Bay State League up in the North Shore. Brockton High is 1 and 3. Brookline wins the tip. Brookline rebounded by Nicholas Lutz, number 21 of Brockton. Here's Dejan Burton. Burton, a quick take for Burton. Dejan Burton is coming off a 13 point outing against a win from Dartmouth on Friday. The three right back from, the three right back from, Bar from Brookline. Devani Perez on the shot. Here's Dejan Burton. Cameron Martel drives left. Cameron. He was looking for Nicholas Luntz in the paint. But now here's, here's Brookline with the, with the throw in. Number 25, Devani Perez. Yeah, there's a foul against Brockton. That's number 33 on the line, Jack Stinson, a senior. Misses the first. Yeah, the Brookline Warriors just a well, a well-rounded team, ranked at top of Massachusetts with the with the six and zero record, and that's Dominic Hopkins of Brockton with the rebound. Cameron Montero with the pivot. Oh, they're gonna call a travel. The game remains at two to two. Hello everybody, I'm your announcer, Christopher Bazile, doing this game solo. That's Ezekiel Johnson on the defense. Number 15 on the penetration. The take by number 15. Mikhail Hayes with the take of Brookline. Cameron Montero straight to respond. Oh, looks like we have an off the ball foul against Brookline. We have a foul adjustment on the play. Referees are discussing it. Coach Valentine of, Brooklyn, of Brookline saying the 6-0 record does not matter. He says you have to play on, he says you have, a, you have a will to play, give out your will on the court. That's a great, that's a great mindset coming into for Brockton. A quick 4-2 lead for the Brookline Warriors. 4-2 lead with about six minutes remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, 
we just have a foul discussion on the court. The referees are still trying to adjust it. Uh, here comes the inbound from Dejan Burton. Cameron Montero. Intercepted by number one of Brookline. Defended by Dominic Hopkins. Here's Zeke. Dejan Burton. Dej Dejan Burton for three. He's hot. Dejan Burton has all the baskets for Brockton High with a five to four game. Five to four Brockton. Zeke Johnson on the full court press. Brookline looking to answer. Cameron Montero with the rebound. Montero. Burton. Oh, they're going to call Burton for a travel. Burton was looking for help on the offensive possession. Didn't get it, so it's a travel. Great defense by Nicholas Slutz in the interior presence. Now we got a jump ball. Yeah, that'll go Brockton way. 440 remaining in the first quarter. Great interior defense by Nicholas Slutz and Dominic Hopkins. Number 21 and number 15 of Brockton. Here's Dejan Burton. Zeke Johnson, turnover. Here, here comes Brooklyn. Number one for three, misses. Dominic Hopkins rebound. Here comes Zeke Johnson. He has Dejan Burton wide open. Dejan finishes. Dejan Burton has all seven points for the Brockton High boxers. Seven to four advantage. Up, travel against number 15. Mikhail Hayes, a travel. A little undecided on the possession. Seven to four lead for the boxers. I'm Christopher Bazil doing this game solo. Thanks for watching everybody. Here from Brockton, Massachusetts, Staff, Dim Staff Gymnasium. We have a foul against Brookline. You're watching. I am broadcasting this game from Brockton, Massachusetts, and Brockton High School. Thank you for tuning in. Dejan Burton. Burton for three. That'll be a miss. Yeah, a foul against Brooklyn again. Brooklyn now has three fouls. Zeke Johnson, uh, turnover. Brookline the other way. Oh, nice defense by Nicholas Lutz. Here comes Brockton the other way. Zeke Johnson, he'll make it. Nine to four game for the boxers, nine four. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. 
22 for three. Off. Oh. oh. Got to go Brockton's way. Another turnover against the Brookline Warriors. Yeah, Brookline again coming into this game with a 6-0 record. They're down 9-4. They are down 9-4. Two forty-five remaining in the first quarter. Here's Burton. Nicholas Lutz. Oh, that'll stay Brockton's way. That'll be a foul against Brookline. Brookline has four fouls. Cameron Montero, oh, the take was defended. Oh, the take by number one, Andrew Alexi Alexiano. Rebound Brookline. Number 10 for three. That's good. Nine to nine game now. It's a tie game. Nine nine. Burton, long midi. No good. Rebounded by Brookline. That'll stay Brookline way. 9-9 nine, nine game. Tie game. About 130 remaining in the first quarter. Oh, quick take, but it's missed. Well defended by Dejan Burton. Yeah, Dejan Burton, a 13-point outing against Dartmouth. A great outing. Had a lot of assists and rebounds as well. Cameron Montero also played good that game. Dominic Hopkins with the back down, the pivot. It's good. Lays it up and in, as my guy Miles Jackson would say. 11-9 game now. Nice post move presence. Dejan Burton. Cameron Montero. He missed, he airballed the floater. 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. 11-11, tie game. For three, it's good. That was number 10, Zach Solom for three. Brockton will hold on to the last possession. Oh. Zeke Johnson. Oh. They're going to call. Yeah, let's see what that play was. Was it a clean block? Oh, no. They're going to call a foul. They're going to call a blocking foul. Looks like that's on Cameron Montero. Yep, that's a blocking foul. Number one's on the line. Andrew Alessianco, the sophomore. He makes it in the first. Fifteen eleven Brookline. Brent, Brent. 
after the first quarter, the Brookline Warriors get the lead, 15 to 11. Here comes the Brackton High Cheerleaders. Great effort from both teams. Both teams came out strong, attacking the other team's defense. And let's see what the second quarter upholds. Yeah, hello, I'm Christopher Bazil doing this game solo from Brockton, Massachusetts, in Staff Gymnasium at Victor M. Ortiz Court. Yeah, it's a, it's a 15 to 11 advantage for the Brookline Warriors. Ranked atop in the state. They really came, they really came what they had to do. They really, they're doing what they have to do. Four fouls for the Warriors and three for the Boxers. Some fresh legs brought in by Coach Barrows. Elia, Elias Benitez, number 11, number 23, Brady Foreman, and number 14, Elias Figgins. Eight minutes to play in the half. Let's get it. Let's go. The cut. And that'll stay Brookline way. 18 to shoot on the shot clock. Air ball. Oh. Andrew Alicianco with the with the take. He's having a pretty decent game so far already. Cameron Montero, Dominic Hopkins. Hopkins, Hopkins, he'll take it, he'll miss. Great interior defense by the Brookline Warriors early on. They're playing well. Elisianco for three, that is, that's an air ball. That's a turnover. Yeah, 6.56 to play in the half. 11.17 Brookline. Here's Brady Foreman. Oh, that's a, ooh, that's a foul. Physical play there. Coach Barrows, he needs his players to be unselfish, physical, and rebound. As they're in this game with a one and, with a one and three record. Nice defense by number four, Darren Baker. There's Cameron Montero the other way. Montero. Benitez, the midi. No good. Six point game here. Oh, he has to hold on to the ball, Cameron Montero. Timeout, Brockton.
Yeah, Coach Bears addressing his players right now. They had not scored a basket in the last couple of minutes. The Brookline coach addressing his players. Budger sounds back to action. Yeah, coach. Yeah, coach Barrows. Coach Barrows trying to get in, trying to get it into his players, trying to find a, a nice play to get to the basket. Look for Brockton to look to the interior offense. They're looking for Darren Baker and Brady Foreman to score inside. Brockton looks more athletic th than than Brookline, but Brookline playing well. Brookline plays with good chemistry. Brockton a bit more taller as well. And here's the inbound from Darren Baker. Brady Foreman, he'll break it up. Foreman, he'll drive right. He'll miss it. Pushing it. Here comes Brookline. Oh. Yep, they're going to call a charge on Brookline. The score still stays at 17 to 11. Cameron Montero. Another miss for Brockton. Another miss. Feagans. Begins will draw the foul. The foul is on number two, Sean Banks, E Banks of Brookline. Elias Feegans, he'll take he'll take he'll take the jumpers, he'll take the free throws. Vegans, he'll take he'll take the other he'll take the other shot. He makes that one. Twelve to seventeen, Brookline. Elisenko for three. Benitez with the rebound. Foreman. Vegans. Wow. Back-to-back -back baskets for Elias Feagans, number 14. 14 to 17, Brookline. Brookline up three. Really, Brockton really needed the presence of Elias Feagans. Andrew Elisianco. Andrew Elisianco is having a great game. He's having a great game so far. The six, the six four guard, the sophomore. Oh, that's going Brookline's way. Yeah, Dajan Burton, number two, will check back into the game for Brockton. Four fifty four remaining in the half. A five point lead for Brookline. I am Christopher Bazil doing this game solo from Staff Gymnasium of Brockton High School. Here's Dajan Burton. Burton, Elias Feagans. Elias Feagans will draw the foul. Brookline has six fouls right now. They're close to the bonus. Feagans will be at the line again. He's keeping Brockton High alive in this one. One. Fifteen to nineteen Brookline. Five points for Feagans already tonight. 
this afternoon. It is now a three-point deficit, 16 to 19, Brickline. against Brockton High. Here's number 12 for the free throw. He'll miss it. Nicholas Lutz is in the game for Darren Baker. Zeke Johnson will check back in as well, number five. Hey, find him, find him. Edwards is a second attempt. He'll miss that one again as well. We have a foul on the play. A foul against Brockton. Wow, Brickland retains the possession. Three, Elisianco, he's hot, he's hot. Elisianco, he's really hot. He extends the, the lead for Brookland to six, 22 to 16. Brockton High is struggling right now. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. Uh, Coach Valentine is upset of Brookland about that foul. Four minutes remaining in the half. Yeah, Zeke Johnson, he'll be at the line. Zeke Johnson makes the first one, and he'll make the second one. 18 to 22, Brookline. Fifteen, wow. He took Zeke Johnson coast to coast. Nicholas Lutz. Lutz will take it. Nice pivot by Nicholas Lutz. It's now a four point game. It's a close game. 335 remaining in the half. Number 25 for three. Oh, off the glass and in. Great shot. Dominic Hopkins to Zeke, to Zeke Johnson. Oh. It'll stay Brockton away. There's Dajan Burton, Burton. Attacks right, Burton. Hopkins for three, no good. Yeah, foul against number 11, Elias Benitez. A seven point lead for the Warriors. Nicholas Lutz gets it. Collymore, number 10. Burton, Collymore. 
Collymore. The Collymore. No good. The take was no good. Burton, Burton off the midi, no good, wow. Timeout on the floor for, for the Brooklyn Warriors, two minutes remaining. Yeah, two minutes and two seconds remaining in the half, 20 to 27 Brooklyn. Yeah, both, both teams picked up the physical tempo in this one, right before the half, they picked up the physical tempo. Yeah, both coaches addressing their teams. The Brockton High boxes with six fouls and Brookline with eight fouls. Yeah, Brockton High, one in three, looking for their second win of the season. Number 33, oh, they're gonna call it travel. Yeah, the travel on number 33, Jack Stanton. Looking for a pivot. Here's Cameron Montero down the other way. Collymore. Oh, that's stolen. Wow. No, that's a turnover. Yeah, here comes the inbound from Brockton. Dejan Burton for the inbound. Hawkins will take the point. Oh, wow, another turnover from Collymore. Elisianco, wow! What a dunk by Andrew Elisianco. A two point flush. Wow. It is 29, it is 29 20. Brookline, after that flush, that posterization from Andrew Elisianco. Now here comes the end one opportunity. That's good. Three point play for the Brookline Warriors. It is 30 to 20, Warriors. The Warriors are, are up 10. Montero, and one the other way. Cameron Montero goes the other way. Cameron Montero looking for the three point play. Cameron Montero misses.
for three, number 10. That's good. Yeah, the Brookline Warriors, they are hot. They're shooting well. It is an 11 point advantage for the Warriors. 22 to 33, Montero. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah, that, that was a good call by the referee. That was a straight foul. Contacted before the play. Yeah, Cameron Montero keeping Brockton High alive right now. 40 seconds remaining in the half. No good. Yeah, both both teams struggling at the line a little bit. Montero. That one's better. 23 to 33, Brookline. Number 25 is dribbling the ball up the court. Devani Perez. Brookline off the advantage. Sixteen seconds remaining. Burton. 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 To Lutz. Oh, he fouled. He's fouled. Yeah, Nicholas Lutz, he'll, he'll go to the line. He's made only one basket so far today. That's good. 24 to 33, Brookline. 24 to 33 game. Here's Lutz, second attempt. That's good. 25 to 33, Brookline. Last possession of the half. Perez, Perez will take it. Air ball, that was a pass. Collymore will fall on the ground. It is 25 to 33, Brookline. Yeah, a, a quite comfortable lead for the Warriors. Yeah, Brockton High will go will walk will walk into their locker rooms, and so will Brookline. I am Christopher Bazil doing this game solo. We'll be right back after halftime. Thank you very much for watching from Brockton, Massachusetts, and Brockton High School. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Staff Gymnasium of Brockton High School at Victor M. Ortiz Court. We are here for the second half between the Brookline Warriors and the Brockton High Boxers. The Brookline Warriors with an eight-point lead. Yeah, yeah, the story of the first half, Brookline did, did a good job on penetration backs, baskets. Good job on interior baskets. Pretty good job on defense. Yeah, and Brockton High, they're just looking for an answer. They're looking for an answer. They haven't, they're, they're struggling hitting their field goals. And we are back in action. There's Cameron Montero. Zeke Johnson. Oh, Ezekiel Johnson looking for the interior pass to Nicholas Lutz. He wasn't able to get it a little bit too quick for him. Oh, good block by Nicholas Lutz. Stanton, oh, the second chance basket. Yeah, Jack Stanton with the second chance basket. That's great. Dominic Hopkins. What? Oh, no. Didn't get the twirl to go through. Yeah, Lutz will be at the line. He'll be at the line again. Oh, 
Uh, Lux will miss. Yeah, both teams struggling at the line, as I said earlier. Man, man, you win and lose games at the line. Free baskets. Both teams have to work on their free throws after this game. Yeah, let's will make the second. Oh, nice tip pass by Lutz. Number 10 on the floater. That's, oh, no good. If that's going Brockton's way. Yeah, we see the press on Cameron Montero. They're going to call it backcourt on Cameron Montero. Another turnover for the Brockton High boxers. Yeah, Brockton High is falling apart right now. They're falling apart a bit. Trying to stay in the game. Number one, Elisianco. Yeah, that'll go Brockton's way. A turnover. Cameron Montero, Montero drives left, Montero, oh no. Wow, another turnover. Yeah, this was a story, this was a story a bit that last game against Dartmouth. They can't catch the ball. They had some turnovers in that win, and, they and they're doing it again today against Brookline. Devani Perez, Perez. Perez, he's blocked by Lutz. Cameron Montero will take it the other way. Burton, Zeke Johnson for three, no good. Dominic Hopkins with the, he's, Hopkins. Oh! Yeah, that one's going the other way. Yeah, let's see. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, I believe it was a call. Yeah, and it's going it's going Brookline's way. Nathan Rateau, number 20, checked in for Brockton High. Here's Burton all alone. Burton, he'll finish. Yeah, Brackton High really needed that one. It is 35-28, Brickline. Number 15. That's good. Thirty-seven twenty-eight, Brickline. It's again a nine-point game. Montero. Oh, another. Lutz. Lutz. He's blocked. Number 15, he'll take it. That's number 15, Mikhail Hayes. Mikhail. For three, Brick rocked and high, nope. Another rebound for the Brookline Warriors. They've been doing well at the boards. Wow. That, that one was nicely blocked by Cameron Montero. Hey, Cameron Montero saving a basket. Nice defense. Devani Perez with the ball. Good ball moving by the Warriors. Blocked by Lutz. Here's Burton to Cameron Montero. Montero. He's off.
Nathan Rateau on the one-to-one -one defense. Perez, Perez, he'll take the floater. No good, rebounded by Burton. Burton breaks the trap, Burton. Burton, the hop step, that's good. Oh, and yeah, they're gonna call the charge in one for De Dejon Burton. Yeah, it is now. It is now Dejan Burton on the line to be rewarded. Burton, that's good. It is back to an eight-point game. Brockton High staying in there. 3.43 to play in the, in the third quarter. The Warriors with three fouls. Number 23 for three. That's going good. Alessiaco with the rebound. The fight, the fight, the fight, the fight. Oh, wow. They're going to call the foul. Brockton Way. Yeah, Dijon Burton, her run the point. Burton. There's Nathan Rateau. Rateau. Ooh, wow! The pass from Rateau to Lutz. Na Nicholas Lutz with seven points. Every time Brockton High scored, the Brookline Warriors came back with an answer, either a foul or a basket. They've really stopped the momentum of Brockton High this entire game. Yeah, that's a shooting foul. That's Mikhail Hayes at the line. Mikhail Hayes, he's having a, a pretty decent game today, keeping his Warriors at the lead. He'll miss the first free throw. Yeah, both teams struggling at the line. Hayes makes the second. 40 to 33 brick line. Seven point game. 252 remaining in the third quarter. Burton to Rateau. Rateau. Burton. Burton for three. No good. Yeah, the Brooklyn Warriors, they've done a great job against the Brockton High press. They've done a great job against their press. Mikhail Hayes, that's good. Rateau. Burton. Burton. Burton, that's good. John Burton's having a great game so far. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the third quarter. This one's been close throughout. Not even a double-digit lead. Another foul against the Brooklyn High Boxers. Mikhail Hayes sinks the first. Elias Figgins and Elias Benitez checks back in for, for Brockton. Some fresh legs. Some fresh legs for the Brockton High Boxers. Devani Perez also checks back in for the Warriors, number 25, in blue. Yeah, Brookline in blue and Brockton High in white. Yeah. Gotta go, Brockton Highway. Mikhail Hayes missed the second shot.
for three. No good. Elias Benitez, Burton. Elias Figgins, that's good. The assist from DeJon Burton, it was, it was started by Elias Benitez, 37 to 43, Brookline. Rebound, Dominic Hopkins. Here's Cameron Montero down the other way. Let's see if Brecknock can answer. Oh, a bad turnover. Figgins. Oh, no foul called. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Devani Perez. Cameron Montero. Montero, Montero, that's good. Here's Brock High with the answer. It, it is now only a four point game, 43 to 39, Brickline. It's a close game, an exciting game. Elisianco, that's blocked. Oh, Brock High's into it now. Brock High's into it now. The crowd is cheering a bit now. Twenty-six seconds remaining in the quarter. Yeah, Brock High trying to break the press. Oh, turnover! Turnover! Coach Manny Bears is mad. Elisiaco. Oh, a basket off the turnover. Brock High couldn't break the press. They couldn't break it. Elias Figgins. Figgins. Oh, he'll take the foul. Yeah, both of these schools are not liking each other at all, obviously. Ezekiel Johnson ready to check back in. Two seconds remaining in the third quarter. Elias Figgins at the line. Uh, oh, did not get the lucky roll. He missed the first. Two point one seconds remaining in the third quarter. It's a close one. Figgins is the second shot. That's good. Yeah, that, that shot is no good. Forty to forty five Brookline. Pride and will are being exposed right now. In that last quarter, so for this quarter, Brockton inched their Brockton inched their chances of winning this one closer, 40 to 45. Now here comes the Brockton High cheerleaders doing their performance. Yeah, both coaches addressing their situations. Yeah, man, this one's a good one. It should be a good. It should be a good eight minutes. This one's been pretty good. Yeah, in the in the audience, we have a small outing here today. Yeah, part of the reason is due to the COVID symptoms. It's always a nice atmosphere here in Brockton High School. Yeah, as you see, the, the, the nostalgia of the school, the banners, 
of the football championships, the track, the track and field championships, a great storied program Brockton High School is. One of the best athletics programs of Massachusetts not too long ago. Still pretty good now. And uh, in the fourth quarter, inbound is ready to go. Feagans defended by number 23. Wow. A nice dish and a nice finish by Brookline. Here's Dominic Hopkins. Oh, Hopkins trapped a bit. Hopkins. Oh. Burton for three. Oh, no. Zeke Johnson draws the foul. What a physical play by Zeke Johnson. The second chance effort. Yeah, we have the Brookline Warriors representing the Bay State League. Yeah, Brockton, Brockton obviously from the Southeast Conference. Zeke Johnson's first shot is good. It is 41-47, Brookline. Zeke Johnson, second shot is good. 42 to 47, Brookline, five point game. Zeke Johnson trying to stay on his free. Devani Perez, 4-3, number 22, no good. Elias Figgins. Yeah, Elias, yeah, Elias Figgins, he's a bit of the heart and soul of this boxer team this year. Yeah, he loves, he gets physical, he defends his players, he's a good, he's a good guy. Good kid he is. That one's going Brockton way. Yeah, Brockton High trying to break the press. Zeke Johnson. Oh, wow, that one was taken away. Oh, a turnover the other way. A nice strip by number 23, Jaden Mazzara. Yeah, Brockton High with three timeouts left. Yeah, Coach Manny Barris is going to address the situation here for the Brockton High boxers. Yeah, the, yeah, the referees are calling a pretty good one here. Yeah, it's a five-point game, 47-42 Brookline. 6.51 to play in the game, the last quarter. Yeah, Brookline, Bro Brookline with six fouls in the half. Brackline with only two. Yeah, just looking at this gymnasium, the beautiful gymnasium, staff gymnasium, just, just you just feel the aura of the, of, the, of the great players that came before of this great program, Brackline High School. Yeah the, yeah, the talk is over for both teams. They're ready to check back in. Yeah, the Brooklyn High boxers, they're trying to avoid their fourth loss of the season. And Brooklyn's looking for the seventh win of the season, undefeated. Here's Cameron Montero. The inbound is good. Dejan Burton. Dejan Burton to Zeke Johnson at the corner. Montero wide open. Montero, Zeke Johnson for three. That's good. Wow, that was great ball movement by the boxers. They're back in this game. It's a two point game for the first time in a long time. A basket difference. Here's Brookline.
Number 10. Oh, the block. Here's Cameron Montero the other way. Montero. He'll take it himself. In one. That's great. That's great. Wow. That's basketball. Coast to coast basketball from Cameron Montero. It's a tie game now. Six minutes to play. Brockton High finally tied the game since the first quarter. I believe it's the first tie ever in the game. Let's see if Cameron Montero could sink this free throw. Oh, he's unable to miss. He's, un he's unable to make it. Yeah, that'll go Brookline's way. Here's the full court trap. Oh! Wow. Great defensive pressure by Cameron Montero. Yeah, Brecken High's into it now. Cameron Montero, one on one. Montero. Montero. Zeke Johnson. Another three for Zeke Johnson. No good. It was a nice, a nice possession by the boxes, but unable to hit the shot. 47 all here in Brockton High. Devani Perez of Brookline, great defense. Alicianco. Wow, what a take by Alicianco. Alicianco, he looks like the leading goal, leading basket in the game right now, especially for Brookline. The most points. Cameron Montero. Cameron Montero, Montero, that's all. Oh, yeah, they're gonna call a foul. Dominic Hopkins got got a bit dirty. Timeout, Brookline. 4:57 to play in the, in the in the in the game. Yeah, both teams picked up their tempo. Brookline still staying alive. They still have the lead. Brockton High now finally back in the game. It is a close game. Both benches are into it as well. Yep, th yeah, this game has been a great one. Yeah, into the game for Brighton High, we have Zeke Johnson, number five, Cameron Montero, number one, DeJon Burton, number two, Elias Vegans, number 14, and Dominic Hopkins, number 15. Yeah, it's been a, that, this fight has been a pretty good one. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, these five look like the starters. And here's Zeke Johnson on the defense. Devani Perez for three. Oh, he sinks it. Wow, what a shot by Devani Perez. A five point game. They extend the lead. Cameron Montero. Zeke Johnson. Hopkins. Hopkins, looking for the crossover. Elias Fegans with 10 to shoot. Oh, he'll get the foul. Elias Fegans, he'll be at that line again.
Yeah, both coaches addressing their teams for the final 423. Yeah, Brickland, Brickland looking for the seventh win of the season. They are undefeated, looking to go to 7-0. and They ranked the top of Massachusetts. Yeah, they played well all day here in Brockton. Here's Figgins for his shots. No good on the first. Misses both. Burton, that'll stay Brockton way. 18 to shoot on the shot clock. Hopkins, 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 Hop. Yeah, they're gonna call a foul against the against the Warriors. Yeah, Dominic Hopkins, he'll shoot his two. Yeah, Brookline is over the bonus. Here's some shots for Brockton. Perez, nicely blocked. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need a replay on that block. Ooh, wow. Ooh. That was not a clean block. Yeah. Ooh. That looked like a mostly Block, but they said let's hide at his body. His Perez at the line. He'll miss the first. Oh, nice pass. Nice finish by number 14. Number 14, Taj Horowitz with that clutch basket. That might that might be the end of Brackton High. They need a they need an answer. It's a seven-point game. Zeke Johnson. Zeke Johnson. That one's no good. Hopkins. Oh, Perez down the other way. Perez, nice pass. Yeah, Brickline talking over with their plays. So as Brockton High coached the Barrels. Yeah, 306 remaining to play in the game. 47 to 54 Brickline. Yeah, Brookline, they've had the lead for the whole game. They've been playing great. They've obviously been playing great. Their defense really neutralized Brockton High. They've had they haven't Brockton High has not had much answers at all.
they're really Rocket High are, is really trying to figure it out. Three minutes to play, still enough time for Brecknight to get back in this one. Seven point game. Number 25, Devani Perez. The guard for Brookline. He's having a heck of a great game. He's going to come at his teammates a bit. Nicholas, let's set the line. Oh, he misses the first. Yeah, as I said earlier, both teams need to practice on their free throws. Free baskets, you gotta making your shots. The second attempt. That's good. Here's number 10 on the cut. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. They're gonna call a foul. Yeah, that foul's on Nicholas Lutz. Yeah, number 10, Zach Solom at the line. Misses the first, wow. Both teams are, re are shooting bad for the line. A lot of misses. More misses than makes, as I can see. Box outs are important here. Misses the first. Feegans with the box out and the rebound. Here comes Burton another way. Brockton High needs the answer. Burton. That's good. 50 to 54 Brookline. This game has been close throughout the throughout the second half. Devani Perez, Perez, nice dish. Zach Solom, no good. Rebounded by Perez again. Perez for three, air ball. That one's going Brecken High's way. Nice play by Elias Figgins. Cameron Montero, nice uh, ISO. Why? Oh no, unable to finish. Alessianco with the rebound. Two minutes to two minute two minutes and three seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Yeah, this one's close, really close. Dominic Hopkins checks back in the game. The sub for. Elias Vegans. Two minutes of pride. Two minutes and three seconds of pride. Let's see if Brooklyn can retain this lead. Alessianco at the line. Yeah, Alessianco drains the first one. That one was with ease. He was comfortable on that. Alessianco drains both. Two minutes remaining. 56-50, Brookline. Burton, Burton, double team. Turnover, Perez. Oh. The alley off the backboard from Perez. Fifty-eight, fifty, Brookline. Brockton High needs the answer. Oh. Oh, they're going to call the foul. They're going to call the foul. They're going to call the bump on Elisianco. They're going to call that bump.
Yeah, it was a good draw by Zeke Johnson. Yeah, the timeout for Coach DeBarros and Brockton High, they have one left. Yeah, both teams representing their conference as well in this one. This is a great one. Good game. One thirty-one replaying remaining in the game. Thirty seconds to shoot for Brockton. Coach DeBarris is addressing his team. Yeah, Zeke Johnson, let's see if he, he could drill these free throws. He makes the first. Ninety-one seconds remaining in the game. He makes the second. Six point game. The inbound for Brooklyn. Brooklyn has, has played pretty much mistake free basketball all day. They've been playing great. The trap from Brockton, the trap. Yeah, it was a foul. <laughs> Number 14, Taj Horowitz at the line. <laughs> Makes the first. John Burton. Nice move there. Burton for three. Oh, that's a miss. Nicholas Lutz. Oh, turnover. Foul. Yeah, Tosh, yeah, that's number 10 actually at the line. Yeah, Zach Solom, another another chance for him to get basket to points. Yeah, Brooklyn's about about wrap this one up a bit. 107 remaining in the game. He makes the first free throw. Solemn misses the second. Your timeout call by the Warriors. Yeah, both teams addressing their teams for the final 105. Yeah, Brookline kind of wrapped this one up. Uh, about a three possession game, 60 to 52, Brookline. 
Yeah, both both teams gave, gave great effort. They they gave good fight. Both teams were quite disciplined today. Yeah, I'm Christopher Brazil announcing this game solo. Wow, nice cut in the finish. Number 15, Michaela Hayes. Nice basket. Nathan Rateau. Cameron Montero gets the end one. Yeah, Cameron Montero, he's had a great game today. A lot of baskets, a lot of points for him. He's one of the main reasons for the Brecht High close game. No, he misses the free throw. Oh, they're gonna, oh, that's a turnover, that's a travel. Yeah, Zach Solemn travels Brockton Highway. The, the trap is on by the Warriors. Rato. Darren Baker. Oh, the turnover. Oh, if you're Darren Baker, you probably should have took that shot. Yeah, yeah, Coach DeBerra is addressing Darren Baker a bit. Yeah, the pressure got to him. That's how he gave up that turnover. Yeah, 30, 33 seconds to play. Yeah, Perez makes the first. Yeah, Cameron Montero. Nathan Rateau. That's no good. A foul. Yeah, 26, record, 26 seconds to play in the game. A 10-point game. Let's we'll see if Rateau can mix these, these two free throws. He misses the first. Yeah, it makes the second. Perez. Perez has had a great game for the Brookline Warriors. Defense, offense, and the alive, and the ability to keep it alive. Yeah, that'll go Warrior way. Yeah, this one's been a great one. This one's about wrapped up. 11 seconds to play, the shot clock turned off. Another foul. Yeah, number 15 is on the line. Mikhail Hayes, he's had a great game as well. Wow, both teams really are really faltered at the line.
Yes, this one's a, this one's wrapped up. The Brookline Warriors defeat the Brockton High Boxers. They steal one at their home gym, 64 to 55. Yeah, Brookline's played played great all the entire game. They had the lead for all of the game. Both coaches are praising each other. Both players they walk out with with, with their heads high. Yeah, and Brockton High falls the one and four. And the Brookline Warriors, they are undefeated. They are 7-0. and oh. Great effort by both teams again. I am your announcer, Christopher Bazil, that did this game in Staff Gymnasium at Victor M. Ortiz Court in Brockton, Massachusetts. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.